The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start the show like we usually do. Looking at the DAX, I don't have the FTSE today, but the DAX, you can see, is up at a very high level. And the uh, next thing we're going to do is get to the situation at hand, and that is in the stock market. I'm going to bring this up here. Folks, this is one of the most important weekends we are going to have for uh, the whole year of 2021. The reason for that is you can see here that we're looking at the um, uh, German, excuse me, the, the Dow E-mini. Yesterday we made our uh, price objective up there at uh, 31,473. We're a little bit below that right now, but uh, that's still a little bit earlier in the day. So what we want to do here is we want to see what is going to be the situation coming into this long weekend, because we have a holiday on Monday. And of course, we're looking at these major, what we think are very, very major cycles coming together. And uh, I think they are. Uh, I think history will tell us that, but we won't know. Sometimes they don't work. But this is one of those times where the patterns and everything is lining up uh, just a little bit too closely. So you've got to pay uh, very, very close attention to it. Now, let's take a quick look here at uh, th these cycles that we're looking at here are very similar to what occurred on March the 9th of 2009. That happened actually it was double between the fifth, the March fifth, and two thousand and nine. It went up and it came back down one more time and then went back up again. But where we stand right now is very, very important. And the reason for that is I'm going to bring this up here and show you uh, the chart that what we're looking at. We went short this at thirty nine twenty four, and folks, believe it or not, this thing has had uh, given forty handles twice. In other words, went from thirty nine twenty four all the way down to 38.76 and yesterday it went from 39.20 all the way down to 39.84 you know and it's really hard you know to I've had several emails saying how can you not take a profit there well I'm looking for something larger folks I, I you know first of all I, I got in it right I don't know if it's going to be right or not but my game plan today is very simple if you're in this if this thing closes above 39.10 or anywhere near 39.10, I would be out of it before the before the close. I wouldn't want to risk it over a three-day weekend. But if it closes lower, below 3,900, that give you a 20-handle uh, protection, which isn't much, but it's some. And so then we'd have it over the weekend. But if we come in a Sunday night, uh, where the markets will be closing, will be opening Sunday night, and they'll be opening Monday Monday night too because of Globex. But uh, if we come in here Tuesday morning and we're sharply lower. That, that means that cycle is hit, and look out below because it's going to be uh, pretty pretty interesting. Now, uh, we've had some things uh, to talk about as far as a Tesla. Uh, it's in the news quite a bit. I wanted to, to bring this up because we've got an interesting pattern here in Tesla today, and we'll get the – well, it's actually happened a few days ago. But you'll, no, you'll notice that we went up to 1,800. Now, the, the reason for that drop, folks, is the stock split. Actually, Tesla is is uh, trading right around 4,000, as I recall, uh, based on the split stock because it's four to one. It was trading at 18, 11, 8, 11, 8, 811, so it's around four thousand uh, dollars that Tesla is trading at. So there's nothing wrong with that. But if you if you like patterns, and we had one of these yesterday that we want to talk about. I'll do it right now. I'll, I'm going to finish this Tesla, and then we'll go back to the head and shoulders that I want to talk about. But here again is the same situation that we have going on in Tesla that we had in gold yesterday. You notice you see the, the left shoulder, lower, the right shoulder is lower than the left shoulder. The head, the distance between the shoulders and the head is equal. All of this was done in Andrew Lowe's book. The non-random walk down Wall Street. They did this mathematically, folks. I mean, with formulas that you could not. I mean, they. Are, oh, it looks like something out of uh, that movie with Matt Damon, where he plays the janitor and he's a total genius. I can't remember the name of it. With um, 
Oh, uh, Robin Williams. I, somebody will tell me what the member of what it was, but that was a great movie. This the, these these formulas were so intense, but you don't really need that if you just use a little time, tiny bit of common sense. You can do this yourself. Look at the gold yesterday that we were chatting with you about. We put that chart in there to show you the fact that. There again, you see the left shoulder on the far left on Tuesday, February 9th. You see the right shoulder on February 11th. Yesterday, it was slightly lower, only a dollar, but you know, slightly lower. Now, if that was higher, that would have net, net negated the head and shoulders pattern. But because it didn't do that, it is a head and shoulders pattern. Now, it could have been even lower. It could have been down around 1844. Well, the the, the 1.618 expansion on this came in at 1818, and of course, it went down to 1810 this morning. So this is something that uh, we wanted to uh, re remind yourself that these patterns don't always work, but when they do, they work pretty well. And we do have a head and shoulders pattern here in Tesla. There is uh, there's no question about it. And talk about talking about value and overvaluation. Just look at this chart here from Bloomberg that I saw here early this morning on Bloomberg. I had to bring it up. Tesla's market cap is now equal to that of the entire S&P 500 oil sector. Do you realize how big that is? Shut the front door and raise a rent. Man, you talk about overvaluation, or maybe it's undervalued. I don't know, but boy, that's that's really something. There's a lot of a lot of big stocks in that oil sector, you know. So who knows? We'll see what happens uh, to what's going on. Regarding the gold, I still believe that we're heading down towards that level of 18, uh, well below 1800, and that we'll get to somewhere between 1710. And uh, 1670, I think, sometime during the month of March. Uh, might even be early February. I don't know. But I still think we're heading lower in that. If you keep watching that GL, the GDX like we've been watching, it's giving no indication that it wants to, uh, wants to go higher. There's just no, inst no, no reason for it at all. That's just a very important thing to keep that in mind as you're, as you're looking at some of these things here. Uh, this morning. Now, regarding the, the Bitcoin, if you remember here, we'll get this up here because this is uh, the, the price objective of this run here based on the log chart is uh, right at 64,000. We're, we're trading really close to 50,000 today. I'm just bringing this up, folks, to show you the chart pattern. Don't know anything about these cryptocurrencies. Don't want to know. Well, I do want to know about them, but they're just so they're, they're very, very technical. But th that's, the, that's the first price objective above 50 is at 64,000. And it can be there very, very quickly. If these banks start coming in like they've been doing the, and, and with people like Elon Musk coming in and giving them verification, look out because uh, that means uh, that they're going to go higher. And uh, there's 4,500, I believe, or more uh, of these cryptocurrencies out here. Some of them are going to be pretty good. Others are not going to be very good. But, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. If, uh, well, I'll, I'll just give you my two cents worth. When we get back from the break, I want to share a really interesting chart with you from our good friend Jim Bartolioni, one of the old Top Gun pilots that uh, we've had the pleasure of knowing about the U.S. dollar index. I'll post a chart and we'll talk about it when we get back. Larry Pesavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archived subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. 
If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, before we get to the dollar index, I've had a request from across the pond over here to talk about what's going on. I've posted the chart from March the 5th of 2009, and all I want you to do is to look at this. These are nothing more than cycle dates, folks. These are these are cycles. I know they're related to the planets and stuff, but that's all they are. They're all mathematical numbers. And I want you to realize that almost all of these cycles were in three major houses, as you can see at the very top of that, uh, right around 11 and 12 o'clock. Uh, one o'clock that all the planets were there lined up uh, ready to do something and that's very similar to what we have going on right now and in fact this is a, what we have right now from what these boys that have been on here tim bost uh, arch crawford and also um norm winsky have all said this is the tightest one they've seen in 700 years and I wasn't trading 700 years ago, uh, believe it or not. Uh, I know some of you think that I was, but I wasn't. <laughs> anyway, if you take a look at this, this is what this means. And the, the question was, does this mean something about the market or about something in general? It means something in general, but it does mean something about the market, too. These are big cycles that are coming together. Um, when I started to learn astrology, and I've mentioned this several times, I'll say it again, back in uh, 1986 when Dr. Miller said, me down down there in uh, Sarasota, Florida, for that two months that I spent there writing the book. Uh, she set me down the very first day because I was really an unbeliever. Because of my Catholic background, we were told that if you got started into astrology, that was a devil's due, and you know you were going to go straight to you know Hades and stuff like that. But she showed me that the different times that these patterns had occurred using this type of strategy during 1974 it was a double bottom in October and December of. 1974, which was a crash of 1974, and I was heavily involved with that, so my interest was quite strong. So I looked at that, and then I looked at the other years that she showed me. She showed me August the uh, 9th, 1982. She showed me, well, they were all there. I mean, they, uh, 1938, I mean, all of these were just really, really lined up. Now, the only one that didn't have one of these big things that was a major top was on September the 3rd of 1929. There was really nothing there the, to make anything, to do something like that. So, and that was, you know, folks, that, believe it or not, that was just a three-year bear market in the longest bull market in the history of the world. 
And that's what we've been going through here uh, ever since. So I don't know if anything's going to mean anything or not, but it's really simple from to, to see whether it works or not. You don't have to know whether it's any what, what, what causes this or not. But the answer is going to be on Tuesday morning. If we come down here and we're slur- sharply lower Tuesday morning, that cycle has triggered in. It, it, the actual date. The actual date of it was February 11th. That was a Chinese New Year. It was the new moon, and all of these things were lined up, uh, ready to go. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to work, but that, mean, that, that means they're ready to go. So that's uh, what I'm looking at. So I don't know any more than that, and I'll keep it to that. All right. Now, Jim has been uh, Jim uh, Bart, Bart Leone has been kind enough to send us some of his work here on the uh U.S. dollar index because he thinks it's at a very, very critical level in here. Uh, basically, what he does, this is going back uh, since 1985, folks. Uh, if you remember back then, the euro started in about 98, and uh, we went all the way up to 164 uh, in the euro. That's equivalent to uh, 122. Well, that would have been equivalent to 85 in the dollar. But you'll notice that these harmonic numbers, you'll see these orange, uh, those little boxes, that how, how how the markets make bottoms in here and look where we are now we're in a possibility here that we're looking at a potential major bottom here uh, in the U.S. dollar index based on this does this mean that it's going to work no it just means to pay attention to it and we are certainly paying attention to that because there is a chance here that this U.S. dollar has can have life and uh, you know it could really do uh, something pretty good now how do how do we use something like that well we look to try to get in on a shorter term basis and what we were doing here uh, the other day right here on the show was to show you the euro trade that we were looking at and that is the Euro went right, looking at the four-hour chart, which goes back, uh, you know, well over two months. You can see that it made a perfect 78% retracement up there at 121.45. Uh, the high was 121.55, and now we're trading below 121, and it looks like it's going to be moving down here over the weekend. Now, this is in a downtrend, folks. You can see the high back in January. You can see the high uh, mid-January. You can see the high in early February. And mid-February is where we are right now. So unless we get above 121.60, the trend is down in the euro, and you want to try to find a place to get short. And that's that's all we try to do. We don't know. You know, like we say, we don't watch the fundamentals. We're just looking at the technicals. That tells us whether there's more buyers and sellers. And that's really what you have to look at when doing that. Another question that popped up, I wrote these down. I had three of them today. Uh, what was the longest streak I've had, a uh, losing streak that I've had in trading? And um, I've had several, but I remember one was about four weeks when Mark was here with me uh, in in Tucson. It was a uh, 1990. I think it was 99 into that uh, big run-up because the market was going crazy because of the dot-com stuff. I had about a four-week period there where uh, I had five or six days in a row, several times five or six days in a row, where I had uh, where I had losing trades. And uh, the only way to to rectify that is to take a two or three day break and then come back fresh. And every time I do that, I'm really, really on my game because I, I get rid of the bias that might be in there or something else, the, the cobwebs, whatever it happens to be. But uh, whenever I take a break like that, that's it. I am preparing myself and the people for 24 seven for some some really fantastic things coming up here. Uh, very, very soon, probably not this week, but this coming week will be very, very important. But then after that, it's going to be interesting because I'm trying to set up a system. I might have to use Twitter. I've never used any social media, but I might have to use Twitter to send the trades out to folks. Um, I have to talk to Tommy and Tom about that, whether I can do that or not, because I, I like to be really spot on the market so that I don't have to risk very much. And that's what I'm uh, trying to look at as I follow through with these. So pay very, very close attention here because of this U.S. dollar index, because it does have a chance of turning here and uh whether it does or not you know we don't know but uh we'll have to uh to wait and see if it's uh if it's going to do that we'll do one thing at a time as we as we go through here okay now i wanted to sh hold on someone looks like we have a guest coming in uh telegram oh i you know i guess trader that's right is t is telegram yes it is instantaneous isn't it 
Hey, that's a really good idea, Z. God bless you. Yeah, Tom Hugard used that. Yeah, in fact, I talked to Tom yesterday uh, for quite some time. I forgot all about that. I don't go in there very much because you know he's got he 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 trades. Um, you know, huge positions with really, really, really small stops, and I, I can't trade with that small of stops that, that he does, and I don't trade as often as he does. I'm looking to trade maybe two or three times a day at the most, and of course he trades 10 or 15 times a day because he's a whole lot younger, got a lot more energy. But that's a great idea, Z. I'm going to cover that today, and I'll get that uh, I'll get that moving in in the right direction. Okay, now uh, we have another market that is holding relatively well. And that is the silver. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once-in-a-generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar, silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back now, and we're taking a look at the 
of silver. It's held that level two days in a row. Uh, gold has gone substantially lower by about 20 bucks, but the silver is held up at the uh, 2670. Uh, we're still trading above $27. I just checked a little while ago. So that's got a possibility of a bottom in here. So we'll be uh, very, very cautious uh, over the weekend. We're not going to have any positions in the gold or the silver, but we'll be looking to uh, put positions on probably sometime next week if this thing unfolds. Now, I've had a question about about trading with the trend folks i just going to bring up this is the chart of that four hour chart of the euro i cleaned it up basically what i look for folks uh this is a you know when you when you're looking at a four hour chart you're going to be looking at about six weeks of data if you go back to the far left of the chart you can see the thunderbolt the abcd pattern that's a standard by which we do everything you can see that's a perfect abcd pattern those are the kind when you're having a bad run and you're making some bad mistakes decisions because of whatever that's what you want to be looking for those are the things that will get you in the right direction so that's it now uh, Marshall's asked a question about the bonds I'll cover that in just a minute Marshall but I want to cover this about the trend uh, the trend because you'll notice here you have the ABCD pattern and the AB is equal to the CD in price and time the number of bars up in the AB leg equal to the number of bars in the CD leg. You can see this, the retracement was exactly 78%. The expansion on the upside was exactly 1.27. But then look what happened over the next five days. You notice how the trend is down. You got lower tops in here. Folks, that's the 135 pattern. That's the reverse of the uh, three drives to a top or three drives to a bottom. That That's the one right out of... Uh, Roy Longstreet and Bill Longstreet, that's what you look for. Watch those ratios. The first top back is exactly at the 78% level. The second top back is exactly at 61% of the first top and 78% of the second top. That's mathematically as close as you can get. That's like that's like trying to land something on Mars, folks. So when you see those, those are the ones that you've got uh, to try to find when you're when you're looking for something that uh, gives you a very very high probability of of working. So that's uh, that's how I'm seeing it. So whether that means anything or not, you know, I I don't know. But to me, it means uh, it means quite a bit as far as uh, what you should be looking at. Uh, when you're when you're watching the trend and as you can see here you know we sold that uh, level up there at 121.45 in the euro now we're trading at 120.97 well that covers your your whole risk that's uh, that's 80 pips and so now you have your stop uh, probably at about 60 pips you put your stop around 121.30 so that you lock in something to, so that you're able to make sure that uh, you you've booked a profit and if you if this happens to work you know, you could be looking at something that could go, you know, substantially below 119. And then, and we've seen this happen with the euro because we, we just took, uh, you know, well over uh, 2,500 out of that this last three or four weeks. And this might be another shot at that. I don't know. I'm just looking at what the pattern is telling me as far as risk control. I don't know any more than that. Things beyond that are beyond my pay grade. Pay very, very close attention to gold today, folks, because it's got a chance here to have a little bit of a rally of about 30 bucks an ounce if it can do it. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's going to or not. It needs to hold that level of 1810 because if it fails at 1810, you're looking at something uh, pretty dramatic to the downside. And which will get us near that bigger target that we're looking at. That head and shoulders uh, pattern that we showed yesterday, the 60-minute one, that made the objective there at 18.18. And, of course, you could still have held in it if you want to by using a trailing stop. But, uh, frankly, I think the best thing to do is when you see these patterns, give you the profit objective that you're supposed to have, take it. You know, that's what you have to do. you got to pay yourself for being in these markets, and you don't want to be, uh, you know, waiting. Well, stop the music. <laughs> Judges ruling. I'm just telling you this after someone just watched a $2,000 profit on two days in a row in the S&P, and I'm giving you a lecture on taking profits. Oh, dear, shut the front door and raise the rent. Well, that's a, that's a situation that I'm looking for something bigger, folks. I don't know if it's going to be right or not. 
All I know is that, by golly, it's one of those that sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But this is one of the big ones. Uh, back in 1989, I'll re repeat that story. I said something as big is going to happen on November the 9th, 1989, and it'll be in all the papers. And nothing happened to the market, and yet it was in all the papers, and it was the Berlin Wall. So maybe it's going to be one of those types of things that we're seeing here. But uh, frankly... Uh, we'll we'll know we'll know Tuesday morning when we come in here. It'd be like watching the Super Bowl. Maybe Tom Brady is going to be on the other side of this trade, and it won't work. But we're not going to lose anything on that one. That's for sure. We want to keep a very very uh, you know close close handle to that one because it's got a really good chance to make a uh, pretty good move here. We're selling off a little bit here uh, in the Nasdaq here this morning, and also a little bit in the S and P. But uh, we'll uh, watch this as we as we go through and uh, see some of these other things that we're watching. The other one that's interesting is that natural gas, folks. We did make the uh, objective in that natural gas. We got up into that 306, 307 yesterday, the high being 306. We promptly dropped, uh, you know, well over 25 points. And now we're uh, trying to find some type of a bottom down here at 289. But we consider that a closed, uh, closed pattern, closed trade. You've got to wait for another pattern to set up in order, in order to uh, to enter. So those are uh, just one or two of the things that you're that we're looking at here this morning. So. The big thing is what's going to happen Tuesday morning when we come in and all the guns are blazing in Wall Street, and we'll find out if, in fact, this is the thing that we're going to be looking at. I need to get one second here, folks. I need to uh, – I've lost some data, and I've got to refresh that because I'm going to need that right after the show. So just give me one second here while I correct this, and then I want to get this right up here. Okay. Wow, that's interesting. More than NASDAQ is uh, dropping like a rock, and the old S&P is moving up. Boy, that's a very unusual situation, but that's what's going on. Remember, the NASDAQ uh, didn't make a new high yesterday. It came very, very close to doing it, and we didn't make one in the uh, S&P either. But this, uh, just remind ourselves here, folks, that uh, uh, th this number that we're looking at up here, 39.24, is a really big number because the high was, I believe, 39.28, and uh, we shouldn't get above that. Uh, and I, my, my – what I said today in the video was do not be short that thing if it's above 39.10 on the close. It's just not worth the risk. It really isn't, you know, and I, that's the way I would prefer to do it because, you know, <laughs> you, you don't, you don't have to worry about if you've got your stop in, you're going to be okay. And whether it gaps up on something on Sunday night or Monday, that could happen also. But uh, the one thing that you've got to do is you've got to focus on how much money you're going to risk. The very first day that I went to work at Drexel Burnham Lambert, I didn't know anything about being a broker. I didn't know anything uh, about the financial markets. Well, I, there weren't any financial markets at the time except for uh, treasury bonds that just started. But they sat down with me and said, look, we've got a very sophisticated clientele here. And he said, they're accustomed to losing money. They're accustomed to making money. They're not accustomed to losing all your money. And if you don't do that, you're going to be just fine. Got to be. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. 
back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006. And like many of you, was drawn in by, as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, we're back. And uh, hold on one second here. I wanted to cover something here on these Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. Let me turn off the uh, the crude oil beeper, folks, because we are hitting the 61% retracement here on the crude oil on a uh, short-term daily basis. Uh, well, a 15-minute chart, we're up into this 61% retracement at 58.34. If we're at a level that's going to be any resistance, this 58.35 to 58.65 would be a very, very interesting spot to look at. But let's take a look at these bonds and notes for our good friend Marshall up there in the state of Washington. I showed you the bonds first, folks. This thing's been rolling over for a very long time. It's been very bearish. The uh, idea of negative interest rates, I know they keep bringing it up, and it's possible to have, of course, but right now the bonds are under a great deal of pressure. This should also mean that the U.S. dollar <clears throat> excuse me, would also be under pressure, but that's not the way that it's going right now because if people are going to get out of bonds, they're going to be selling their dollar, selling their bonds and getting out of dollars. That's what the theory is behind this, but whether that incur occurs or not, you know, I don't really know for sure. So we'll just remind ourselves of that. We got the silver trading. Let's move to the bonds and notes a little bit more here, folks. Uh, we, we're, we're way oversold here, so we are due for a rally in here. But really, you know, with the market breaking below 60, 167 in the bonds, you know, that was the last support that we had there. You know, we, we've been talking about that for quite some time. And so that's just a few of the things that you want to keep in mind uh, of, you know, what you're watching in here. So let's remind ourselves of that. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> Sorry, folks. Got a little frog in my throat. Let me take a little bit of sip of water here, and I'll be right with you. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Someone's asked a question. How do you handle the risk over the weekend? You don't. There's nothing you can do. You're locked in, you know, from Friday night to Sunday night. There's not really much you can do uh, with anything. So that's why you've got to be able to, <clears throat> you know, prepare yourself to uh, not risk, uh, you know, anything if that, that you can over the uh, over the weekend. So let's remind ourselves that uh, because uh, we, we don't want to take a big hit on this thing for sure. That That's my two cents worth, folks. I don't think it's going to be anything <clears throat> magical. Uh, 
that might happen. But, you know, if it gaps down big on Tuesday, Sunday night or Monday or Tuesday morning, Tuesday morning by sure, you know, if we haven't moved higher or lower substantially by Tuesday morning, it's going to tell us whether we're right or not. If we get above the uh, uh, the old highs uh, uh, Sunday night or Monday, that's going to be the first sign that there's something seriously wrong. We'd be out of that. Stand aside, you know, wait and see if it's good. If we open sharply lower, then, you know, that's another one that we want to be able to uh, – that we want to be able to take a uh, quick look at. So those are just a few of the things that I think we need to be uh, reminded of ourselves. We don't want to take this big risk. We're trading at 3908 right now. Uh, we've got a little bit of a cushion in it, but you know, like I said, if we close above, you know, 3910, I would say, yeah, let's just move aside and uh, you know find something else because it's just uh, it's just not going to work. It's that it's that accurate, folks. It's got to be right. I mean, these things are so big that it's got to be it's got to be pretty big. You know, it might be geopolitical. It might be uh, something from the, the uh, environment. I don't know. But something big is going to happen just based on we see so few samples of it. You know, going back and we've had, what, 10 samples of this and all all 10 of them have been pretty, pretty accurate. So and, and I'm talking within three or four days. So this is going to be big. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. That's the way we're looking at it. No other way to look at it. Okay, we got gold moving back up above. Uh, we got back to 1818 today. That's been the high of the intermorning session so far. Uh, we just made a nice pull back there at 1813, and boom, away it goes. So that'll be interesting to take a look at this one just on a really short term basis here in the uh, hold on, something. Uh, one bourbon, one shot, and one beer. Okay, let's just move on here. I don't understand what that means, David, but uh, okay. Uh, all right, let's get uh, together. Oh, we got this S&P getting up to 39.10 here pretty soon here. We'll see how much it's going to get. Now, the, the NASDAQ will probably start catching up because usually after it backs off, it's already moved 40 handles to the upside, pushing the S&P higher. So that's neither, uh, that's neither here nor there, but... Uh, Okay, let me think what I have to do here. I did one other one that I, oh, someone asked to take a look at that uh, natural gas uh, pattern completion, and I'll get that up here so we can take a quick look at it. You'll be able to see it. This is where we were uh, last Friday. I'm getting ready to do the charts uh, over the weekend here. You'll see our number there was 306 to 307. Uh, I think we hit 306.10. Then we backed off to uh, 28, uh, 28, 285 or 282, something like that. So if we get back above that now, that'll even be that'll even be more bullish for the natural gas. So we'll see that. Regarding the uh, Regarding the, uh, the the crude oil, folks, that's a short-term 15-minute trade. That's all that is. That's just a market. We're assuming that that high at 58.50 is a major one. We we pointed that out in that uh, long-term uh, pictures of the uh, the, the uh, crude oil on a, on a monthly basis. I I think it's important to to focus on that again. We'll get this up here. You'll be able to see it. There it is, right there. There's the 135. The 58.50 was right in that zone between 58.50 and 58.59, 50, uh, 59.50. So this is nothing more than a 61% uh, a pullback intraday at 50, uh, 58.50. And if we get above 58.75, you know, you got to risk 25 pips on that because uh, this thing can really run good. If you get above 58.75, that's a losing trade, and you don't want to uh, – you don't want to uh, get involved with it. That's nothing more than you can do. I mean, that's <laughs> that's eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I'm certainly looking forward to a three day break here, folks. Uh, we've got to get our energy levels up because we're going to start seeing some fabulous. I mean, totally fabulous. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, volatility here in these markets, uh, both up and down. And that's what we want to try to do, uh, what we've been doing. We try to keep our losses as small as we can, trying to catch a big one now and then. And that's uh, that's basically the bottom line of uh, what we're really trying to do. I think the VIX, I've been saying this for years, you know, anytime the VIX is at 10, you should own it. And now it's up around 20, and I think we're going to be in the area of a VIX for probably three or four years where you're going to see movements between 20, 50, and 60, and maybe even 80. 
who knows because there's going to be some you know big moves happening in some of these things uh, several questions about the cryptocurrencies folks I know nothing I really don't know anything about those darn things uh, and then they're not easy to know I, I, I know little tiny bits and pieces just enough to get me in trouble the only time I've ever made a recommendation on one was back in September when uh, when Ada Cordano was trading at uh, at six cents uh, you know, John Jameson told me he thought that was a good buy there, and it was right at a 61% retracement. That's why we were buying it, not because of any recommendation. But uh, at six cents, it was the the low had been two cents, and so it was right there at six cents, and now it's at a dollar. So uh, you know, this that's one heck of a run. So we'll see whether that's going to do very much at all. So hey, we'll take a break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200 percent in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollars worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar, silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the short-term pattern in the 
crude oil, looking at the five-minute chart going back to February 10th, you'll see that that's the same chart that you're looking at on that monthly chart that we're looking at. That means if we get above 58.60, this is wrong. It's going to go probably higher. And uh, so that's what the risk factors involve. That's what these things do is they try to give you a, a pretty good idea of what the risk is going to be. They're not going to tell you what that profit objective is be will be because these patterns, when they work, they can give you a lot more than you think sometimes. But the thing you got to remember is when they don't work, you don't want them to take a lot away from you. So at 5860, this would no longer be a valid pattern. That's why you've got to have your stop in there working because you can see how quickly crude oils move 30 or 40 pips which is three or four hundred dollars on a contract worth 58,000 it can very easily you know take off to the upside but we'll look with a great anticipation here coming into Sunday night I'll be sending my usual videos out to the 24 7 folks and we'll get an update of what we're looking at we're currently short the euro uh, and we're short the S&P we might not be short the S&P by the end of the day, but uh, that's what we're going to be watching, of course, uh, be watching it. Remember, 5860 is what we think is a line in the sand in this uh, crude oil. So if it gets there, we would be taking a $150 loss and then moving on to the next uh, uh, carousel to see which one of the ponies might be coming in for a good trade. So we're watching these over the weekend for sure. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, folks. And may God bless and please do something for me and for yourself. And that is try to help somebody that is in really dire need around your environment, your your local local area, your uh, where you live. I mean, there's some here in Tucson where we live in a pretty nice affluent area. We've got some people here that are really hurt and they haven't worked. Uh, some of them haven't been able to pay their rent. Some of them don't even have any food. And uh, the gospel mission is loaded up. I mean, my guys, they, they have this huge gospel mission here, one of the biggest ones across the country. And uh, they're just totally, uh, they're asking for volunteers, for cooking and serving. So do something good. We'll see you on the flip side, Tuesday morning.